Go, Bob, go. I'm going to the vet. I'm going to the barn because the vet's here. So I made good time. Got to the barn in about 40 minutes. Um, that was the vet just called me as I was pulling in because she's probably like, where are you? Because I said I'd be there in 45 minutes, but she called me from, she woke me up. So I had to throw some clothes on. So, and it's beautiful weather today. I'm not being sarcastic. I actually am really sensitive to the sun and I enjoy a bit of rain and some beautiful soft misty gray skies which looks like exactly what we're going to have today. I'll just be in right here. You can use me as a pillow. Oh boy. Horse took to the drugs very well. Um, quickly floated. Dentist or the uh, vet said his teeth looked very good. She said they had little hooks, but nothing like she might have expected a 10 year old to have. So, yeah, I'm going to go to Farm and Fleet. Um, I'm going to see, I just need some odds and ends like a snap to put the licket back in place and um, a different flavor of Licket because Thai does not seem to like honey chamomile. Thank you. The magnetic thing is keeping it on my car. Farm and Fleet, which is very funny because there are also something called Fleet Farm, which is the same family that originally owned this. They got in some sort of a family fight and split their company into two. I feel like I should have some. these for my sister because one day I couldn't find these. These are my everyday sunglasses. They were $14. They're Burberry knockoffs and they look like no fieldings. So I bought them. And they cover everything. No sunlight. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never liked the sun. Perfect. Me not caring or wanting to deal with the main. Apparently my trainer wrote it and broke it. It's like 5 o'clock at night. It's been a long day. Hi. Actually, it went really fast. Um, the farrier is not coming today. It's coming tomorrow. Um, 
I rode another horse, and I rode a pony. Cut his mane, and it was pretty straight, and then I decided I needed to cut it a little bit more, and it kind of messed it up. Right? Pony? Do you remember what happened this morning? Was that cool? We met two new friendly people. Mm -hmm. I'm very lucky to have this nose thing over about 10 minutes out of the way on my drive to and from the barn. One saddle pad to dye, to dye Slytherin colors. So I actually got what I was looking for, a very lightweight, so it's bendable, so we get nice, lots of nice uh, tie-dye action going on. And it is a dressage pad, so it is slightly longer. So my big sat, my big long flap saddle will hit in the right place because it's actually, this brand is actually like the jumper saddle came up to like here so I think this is going to be perfect for my jumping saddle which the flap is always, of my jumping saddle always hits like right there on regular saddle pads so back it goes for a second and I'm going to go, I have to go back on the interstate, and I will pass the oasis, so I'm going to go to the shawarma place and have a falafel plate. Bunch of retirees walking around. Um, they all walked in the door when I was at the shawarma place. As you can see. And then every time you get on and off, there's usually tolls, so... Um, it's really convenient to make something right up here. There's my falafel plate and I'm sitting behind Starbucks. So I cannot vlog and eat at the same time. 